um, through 21 games now, you guys are 16 and five, number one seed overall in the WNBA. What are you most proud of and uh, what does the team still need to improve on? Yeah, I'm most proud of um, just our ability to be resilient, um, bounce back. You know, um, we've only had two losses in a row so far, but our ability to just kind of lock in and understand um, we are still getting to uh, know each other as a group, but where we are, we are trending in the right direction. Um, you know, understanding what is uh, successful for this group, what does it look like, what is our standard for this group, and I mean, just the journey, you know, understanding that every game kind of has looked different, you know, it's, it's different games, who's our leading sc scorer, our leading rebounder, um, but all in all, um, just kind of staying together, staying locked in through the ups and downs, the lows, the highs of our season right now, and, you know, just staying the course and being in a very good spot for a relatively new team. Thank you, Coach. And then you touched on this a little bit, but 15 huge points for Piff off the bench. Um, what does she bring to this team, especially without uh, Steph and Izzy? Izzy. Yeah, Steph, us. Um, Piff just brings this calmness. Um, uh, you know, she's a Capricorn. I'm a Capricorn. I joke with her a lot. But she's just steady. Um, and, you know, on the floor, she's going to um, – she, she has the ability to create her own shot. Um, she understands where her spots are. She understands how our defense is. She understands who she's on the floor with. And then she's low maintenance. You know what I mean? She doesn't complain. She's an awesome teammate. Um, the, the games that she doesn't – you know, she's not grooving as well. She's talking to Jewel. She's helping. Um, she's, you know, not bad body language. She just always stays the course and is super solid. And again, you know, a player who, you know, just the other day she didn't score, but then comes back and has a huge game. So and just a compliment to her and just who she is, really. So you guys lost five players this past offseason, including two starters. You finished the pre-Olympic schedule 16 and five, number one overall seed in the WNBA. Have things been better than expected on par? And then uh, how much better can this team be in the second half? Um, I think that, you know, coming in with, with all these new players, it was a huge opportunity. Um, I don't think I would say things are better or worse than expected. I think it's, it's on par. You know, we, we know we knew the people that we were bringing in um, and just continuing to make sure that everybody kind of bought into the system and, and we battled. I mean, I think the way that the first half of the season has gone, there's there's been a lot of adversity. There's been a lot of bumps. There's been a lot of games with, without players. Um, but to be number one to for this break is huge. But also knowing we have 10 games left afterwards. Uh, in this game, you and Jewel just combined for 21 points, which is pretty unusual to see. Can you just talk about, you know, the other players, one to your left there uh, that stepped up big? And, uh, and also Piff, who had 15 tonight. Yeah, I mean, I think just the fact that multiple people um, stepped up, we were able to go, um, I guess, pretty deep into our bench, uh, especially without two players. Mm -hmm. And for everybody that came in, made an impact. And I think that's the, the thing that's, that's huge. And uh, we, we talked about it before the game, you know, we're focusing on these 40 minutes. No Commissioner Cup is on the line. Uh, obviously, the series is on the line, but we want to make sure that we go into the break uh, feeling good about our team. And now everybody can kind of go and enjoy their time, win gold medals, do whatever you got to do. Um, you had a tremendously successful uh, offseason over in Spain, uh, named to the first team in Euro Cup play or Euro League play. Um, what did you learn from that experience that made you a better basketball player in the WNBA this season? And especially like in these past two uh, games where you've really started to go off. Uh, I think just playing um, free and getting me a little more confidence. I would say that's kind of all that has came through of that. And, um, you know, I'm just trying to play free and do whatever I can every game to help the team. Lou talked about it. defensively, Seems like you're playing more free and ball recognition. Are you getting more comfortable in this defensive with the team? You guys all together in your communication? Yeah, I think uh, obviously we've had, you know, players go on uh, different lineups. But at the end of the day, I think just bringing energy and just playing alongside one another, we're, we're meshing very well. And obviously we're going to go into this break. Stewie's going to come back with a gold medal. Lou's going to come back with a medal. 
I'm going to the beach, but <laughs> uh, so when we come back, uh, obviously that's the second half of the season. So it's good that we're playing, you know, well together now. Sorry. And then one more for the two, just the excitement of competing for a gold medal, competing for a gold medal, both of you, just the excitement of that, knowing that you've done this part of the season and moving forward. How fun is that right now to be, to be you, either one of you? I don't think Lou um, really has felt it yet. I think once you get there, to be yeah. no, I'm serious. I'm serious. Yeah. Once yeah. you get there yeah. in the Olympics, you, it's it's something that you you can't explain. Um, and it's it's, it, it's an experience that, um, you know, I recommend everybody to really be a sponge. Um, so I think I'm excited to go to Tokyo to see what it's all going to be about. Obviously, anytime we get to represent our country is uh, like no other. And gonna go get gold.